I'm, I'm quite amazed by that. Over 100 years old. And it's been through two wars, and still, it stands. Yeah. So what are you going to do, then? Well... Yeah, obviously, you've got to replace that. So that bit is missing from there. Yeah. You're missing a few of these bits here. It's really wobbly, and it needs to be safe to use. Yeah. So I like to get this nice and sturdy again, sand it back, repaint it, and then ready for the next generation. All right, let's get it over. First thing, I need to knock this apart, clean out the joints and get it glued back together. There are so many nails hidden under the paintwork here. A lot of them are rusted in place. It's almost like extracting bad teeth. It seems to be coming out quite well. There's a lot of paint on there. Uh, I'm not too sure how easily it's going to come off, but I'm going to start sanding it with the electric sander and uh, see how I get on. So I've got two missing spindles I need to replace. I've got these little pine blank blocks. I'll put that into the lathe. I'm using a pencil here to mark out reference points where I need to turn. It's really easy to take off too much wood, so you have to really plan out what needs to be taken out and where those bits of detailing are because you can really quickly remove too much and I have to start again. I'm pretty pleased with that. It's almost a shame that it's only missing two of these pieces because I really love turning on the lathe. Um, you can almost get lost in doing it. It's, I, I kind of get more pleasure than sort of work out of it. The last piece of woodwork that needs to be replaced is this top bar. This is the original. The other side had been replaced with a uh, piece of wood. Uh, so I'm going to try to recreate this now so we've got a nice, perfect match. So I'm using my fingers and the pencil to sort of mark out where the line is that needs to be copied. And I sort of keep my hands in the same place, move it over here, and I can kind of use that to mark out a perfect template. Uh, I'm going to use my carving gouge to start hollowing that out. <laughs> 